people of black people we are the entitled largely uneducated flamboyantly problematic group that offers that everyone else is the problem but us we think that we should be the leaders of the black community without actually taking responsibility for negative things that happen within the black community we offer that it is everyone else's fault that things don't work but our it's society not respecting the black man it's the black woman not respecting the black man it's the feminization of the black man it's the masculinization of the black woman it is the black woman choosing the wrong black man it's the lb lgbtq plus community trying to indoctrinate the black man everybody else's fault but ours and if anyone steps outside the pocket to remind us in any way shape or form that we might be able to do better than they're bashing black men. And don't get me wrong, things are hard for us as black men, but that doesn't give us the right to pretend like things aren't hard for other people. Like we don't make things hard for other people. That's what white people do. Hello, 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 guys. It is Alexis Exodus, leader of the Black Women Exodus. How are you guys? Like always, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Please share. Uh, please also chime in in the comment section. I get so freaking happy when I see your commentary. Um, even if you have a differing opinion, please chime in below. I really, really encourage the dialogue and really love seeing the different opinions. Um, also, if you have any tips um, on content or any suggestions on things that you'd like to see, uh, please feel free to email me at LexisExodusChannel at gmail.com. And speaking of that, this particular video is brought to you by loyal subscriber and commenter Yanni Layden, who shared the suggestion for this video. Uh, and that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> so... This is going to be the daily series, the daily segment called Blackistan Zoo um, that premieres Monday through Friday every evening at 6.30 ET, where I talk about the animals, monsters, derelicts, and dusty zetas commonly found in Nicaragua and Blackistan. So today, <laughs> we are going to profile... Uh, the Blackistan apes involved in these anti-Asian attacks. So y'all, uh, before we get into these news stories of all these horrific accounts of these poor elderly defenseless Asian people being attacked by these apes, uh, let's go through briefly a profile of uh, the average Blackistani ape. So these animals are primates that are native to Blackistan and Nicaragua. Their habitats. So you'll oftentimes find them um, in New York, in the Bronx, Brooklyn, Compton, uh, so in California as well. So they're pretty much found in any impoverished area, any highly populated area with nakers. Their average lifespan, um, it's shorter than normal in comparison to average men. Um, they'll typically live to their 30s if they're lucky. And their physical appearance is monstrous. Um, they can grow to be as large as six foot three. Oftentimes they're 250 pounds to 300 pounds. And these are really hideous, scary animals with ugly, erratic behaviors to match. So that's uh, your Naker Blackistani 8 profile. Let's get into some new stories of these animals um, in their natural habitat displaying their erratic behavior. 
Asian American violence in New York to tell you about a heartbreaking story tonight. An 83 year old woman in Westchester County, the city of White Plains, is walking on the sidewalk Tuesday night when a thug spits at her and then punches her in the face. And when she came to, there was blood everywhere. Hate spewed like it was nothing, but it is something. It's horrible. With the victim, here's Safan Kim. You might not be able to tell from the fire in her voice, but 83-year-old Nancy Toe came face-to-face -face with terror this week. And inside, she is shaking, and she has the battle scars to prove it. In this Eyewitness News exclusive, speaking in Korean, she says her assailant came up to her nose to nose, then cocked his head back and spit in her face. She closed her eyes, and that's when he punched her right in her nose. She fell to the ground, hit the back of her head, was knocked unconscious. Eventually, a good Samaritan saw her lying there and came to her aid. When she opened her eyes, she was covered in her own blood, drenched in her pain. Bleeding lot uh, from the brain. It looked like, a, you know, pumping out. I didn't think it was so close to home. And now I'm afraid to go out, and my kid is afraid to go out. Nancy's daughter says her mother waited a day to tell police. Culturally, Asians are taught not to speak up, keep their heads down, and plow forward. Nancy also didn't want to go to the hospital because she can't afford the medical bills. It happened Tuesday night around 7.30 outside of Nordstrom at the Westchester Mall in White Plains. Nancy was out collecting bottles and cans for money. Just a day after the victim reported the incident to police, detectives today took into custody 40-year-old Glenmore Nemherd and charged him with felony assault for intending to injure a person over 65. The suspect is homeless with a long, violent history. An incident like this, we threw all our resources at it. This was um, a very disturbing and serious uh, incident that occurred in a uh, safe city. Um, and it's, it's, it's one that we would not tolerate. While there is no evidence at this point, the attack was motivated by hate. Detectives are vowing to leave no stone unturned. Still, the assault was unprovoked against an elderly, vulnerable Asian American, part of a larger disturbing trend nationwide. Tonight, the president calling for unity. Vicious hate crimes against Asian Americans who have been attacked, harassed, blamed, and scapegoated. It's wrong, it's un-American, and it must stop. As for Nancy, she says she has lived through three wars. She just wants peace. You know, she's a Christian and I'm a Christian, so we want to forgive this man. But in the meantime, no more walks alone at night. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> So y'all see that um, heinous crime that was um, that happened at the hands of one of these vicious apes to an unsuspecting 84 year old woman. Um, y'all, I, I can't. Oh, sorry. Let me make sure that this is this doesn't start playing. Okay, it's muted. I just didn't want any ads to play. Um, so, so he said the suspect is Glenn Moore Nimhar. So let's Google this guy and see what he looks like. Mm. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I had the link open, but closed it because um, I was trying to do a few different things. God damn. So y'all. This is crazy. So y'all, I this is this is what I want to say. Um, a few things. So um, when I initially researched the story, it may have been earlier this week. Um, I noticed when I researched the story and then other stories that were similar, they did not depict the culprit at all. Um, even when you know there were charges and those people were indicted. They did not depict anything at all. Even when you look at these news stories, you know how typically they used to give descriptions like, hey, the culprit, the person who did this is, you know, a white male who's uh, 5'11 and probably is about 180 pounds. There was no type of racial description at all. And I say all that to say, uh, previously when I Googled this name, when I was prepping for this, I could find that person's mugshot. Now it's been removed and it's been scrubbed. So we've gotten to a place where we are so politically correct that you can't even give an honest description um, as a victim of the people who have victimized you. 
So now it's it's totally spotless. I wanted to show you guys this this dude's mugshot, but it's it's been scrubbed from the internet apparently from Google search results. So which is really really strange because I think that's concerning. I think that we have to be able to be uh, truthful. So I think that um, when we go through these situations, because we know that Black women are murdered uh, once every 19 hours on average by Black men, we also know that we oftentimes are physically assaulted, sexually assaulted. Um, and are brutalized by these men. So we really have to be able to be vocal and we have to be able to be honest about who these men are that are victimizing us. So I think this is really unfortunate and this is like a real time example of how unfortunate it is that we're pivoting to such a, a politically correct space where we can't even say, hey, I this my 84 year old grandma got attacked. It was this this naker who did it. We can't even say that it's, it was this black dude who did it. We got to kind of, you know, walk on eggshells so we don't offend people um, and can't be truthful about who our assailant is. So they're apprehended. I didn't mean to get on that tangent, but that really is very frustrating that this man's mugshot is no longer online after um, engaging in such a heinous attack. This woman, 84 years old, 84 years old. And that don't make no motherfucking sense. Um, so yeah, so anywho, I'll keep going. So these, these fools who do this, these apes are heartless predators. Um, so you'll know and you'll see a trend in these stories that I'll share with you today that they target very, very weak, um, defenseless and unsuspecting prey. So we'll see in these stories, oftentimes they're targeting elderly people. Uh, oftentimes it, it's women because these apes, they like to attack people who can't defend themselves. They are not brave enough or not courageous enough to attack people that are their own size. No, it, you know, they want to they want to hurt and harm children. They want to hurt and harm uh, granny and grandpa. They want to hurt and harm people who are just minding their business, who are half day size. And, you know, I talked about the other day, the six year old that was shot in the chest for clogging a toilet and was murdered. I also talked about the seven year old who was bludgeoned with a hammer to death by his mother's boyfriend. Uh, and one identifying characteristic of these apes is that they really get pleasure and are very sadistic and get pleasure out of harming those who are weaker than them. Um, another characteristic, uh, these, they don't, they don't like to confront alpha males. So alpha males and other ethnic groups will kill them in the streets with no consequence. We saw a slew over the summer of um, these men uh, getting targeted, getting knees on their neck. Um, they'll get pulled over for a fucking broken taillight and will get shot dead. They'll get shot and killed for trying to reach for their ID. Uh, but they don't got they don't have no smoke. Um, and they won't confront these alpha males who will kill them in cold blood and will walk away <laughs> and dare them to do something about it. They won't do that. Um, you know, they, we even saw George Floyd screaming and crying for his mother like a baby. His big ass. Um, and he had a documented record in history of harming women. So these, these apes will passively get their asses beat. They won't defend themselves. Yet, they will viciously fight and attack elderly women. Um, they'll attack single mothers, they'll attack children, they'll attack all women. It don't, it don't matter. Just as long as you're smaller than them and weaker than them, they will challenge and attack you. You know, and it's like, dude, like, you know, say that smoke for these alpha men who got the resources, Brad, who got the resources and who own the world. So, you know, he he he's he sitting here, um, you know, fucking conquering everything and throwing whatever scraps that are left over to these Adas. But no, 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 no. They're cowardly. So they save all that energy for men or for for elderly men and for women and children. So this next ape that I want to show you guys um, is native to Oakland um, and he attacked and killed a 75 year old Asian man. 
Oh, Lordy. Okay, so let's see. Today, middle and high school students in Pleasanton will nope, head back to Nope, that's not it. That's right. We've got... Sorry, I had all these links up. So it's um, playing the videos in the background and it's uh, progressing to the next video without us watching anything. Let's see. Now, make memories of hope by donating your car to Volunteers of America. The proceeds will be used to help members of your community. Donate your car at voaautodonation.org. And we do have some breaking news that we want to tell you about. Alameda County District Attorney, they, their office has filed special circumstance charges against the man accused of attacking an Asian American in Oakland. Prosecutors say 26-year-old Tiante Bailey assaulted and robbed a 75-year-old. Now they show his mugshot. Look at that disgusting anchor. He fits the profile of your classic eight. Year old man named Park Ho on Tuesday. Ho was taking his regular morning walk around Lake Merritt at the time. The victim hit his head in the pavement and he died from his injuries today. Bailey is also charged with robbery and assault from a crime in February when he allegedly broke into a senior living apartment, violently shoved a 72 year old man. Spin, angles, agendas. But most of the time, that is not the whole story. Every night, sorry, I that's an ad. I want to give people something deeper because when you really dig down underneath the surface, that's when you come away feeling like you've got a little something more. Okay, I guess that was it. Come on, I thought there was something else. I guess not. Um, yeah. So, anywho, um. This ape, that ape that we showed in the picture, attacked and killed a 75-year-old Asian man. Um, and, you know, like I said, these fools have a documented history of attacking elderly men and women. So uh, he robbed that, that man. Um, and the poor guy hit his head in the pavement and he died. And so, like I said, this is just another illustration of how cowardly and passive these men are. They won't fight other alpha men for resources. No, in Pakistan and Nicaragua, they're just lurking and nefariously just looking for uh, the most vulnerable victim. And they're even attacking the elderly population to get resources. So this is another story. Oh my gosh, I can't even keep up with them. So I, I mean, I Googled and researched so many. There is like a slew, a list of stories of these monsters engaging in this disgusting behavior. This one happens to be an Asian man who um, got attacked on a Manhattan subway station. So let's watch this one. Craving an adventure binge? Right now you can go from watching it all to doing it all. Introducing the all new fiercely reimagined Nissan Rogue. Look out, outdoors. Go in style. Go with gusto. Go rogue. Go wherever adventure takes you. The other interview tonight with the victim of another brutal crime, an Asian American man suddenly attacked and beaten. Tonight, he's telling his terrifying ordeal to Eyewitness News reporter and Jay Burkett. I remember his tree. Yeah, 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 his tree. Tell Ming Soon says he never saw it coming. The fist that landed in his left eye and knocked him to the sidewalk. He was on his way home from work shortly before 11 o'clock last night, 11 o'clock last night, about to enter the F train at East Broadway when he was attacked. In this cell phone video, the suspect appears first. He's clearly waiting for his victim, and the attack comes out of nowhere. Tao Ming soon falls to the pavement, where he will be punched in the eye and elbowed in the mouth repeatedly. It's over in seconds, and the suspect takes off into the subway where surveillance cameras captured his face as he crossed the turnstile and onto an F train. So fast, I cannot remember anything. Mm. Too fast happened. There was no obvious motive for the attack. Detectives converged on the neighborhood today, canvassing residents and shopkeepers for clues. 
determined to identify the attacker. A $2,500 reward is being offered for information. Tao Ming soon told us the man did not look familiar, and he has no idea what provoked the attack. He's a 56-year-old construction worker, an immigrant from Malaysia, who has lived in the United States for more than 20 years. You don't know why he did that? I don't know. Sorry. Have you ever seen that guy before? No, I was here. I was here before. Why do you think this guy attacked you? Why? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I arrest him. The NYPD's Hate Crimes Task Force is investigating. It's still not clear whether this was or was not a biased crime, but it is yet another random attack in a community that is already on edge tonight. So, so yeah, uh, these stupid niggers, this, this motherfucker attacked the man um, and didn't even want money or anything. Just attacked him. He said he had gotten off of work at midnight um, after working hard and slaving, only to get randomly attacked by this fool who didn't even want to rob him. He just did it just as a sporadic event, just because that's what makers do. There's no rhyme or reason to to what they do. They just like to violent. They just like to violently attack people because they're sadistic and they're sick. Um, you know, and this reminds me of the poor woman who got in, who had gotten attacked by a group of apes in Harlem where they tried to bite her eye out. And all she said is, hey, no, I can buy my own wine. And they tried to kill that poor woman. Yeah, so, so let's keep going. So here's another story of an ape. Um, let's see, this, this ape was charged with attacking a man on the NYC subway in New York. I don't know there, New York is just inundated with apes right now. Um, so yeah, so this, this story details how a suspect was hit with assault charges. So this naker with the hat and the leather jacket and pink hoodie was <laughs> I'm sorry, just let's just take a second to take in and digest this this man's appearance and what he's wearing. Oh, these apes. Ugly, just ugly. Um, so yeah, so he uh was indicted for attacking a 68-year-old Asian immigrant who was aboard a Manhattan train last week. Um, and this man, let's see, let's keep reading. This man was 36 years old. Um, and I've read like a multitude of stories. I've been doing a lot of research here. And I read another story that said that uh, the man was 36 and he attacked the victim with a bunch of random punches uh, last week while they were riding on a train. And all he said was, you motherfucking Asian and punched his ass and beat his ass. Um, and... You know, it just talks about how well, the story talks about how there were so many racially motivated attacks, um, which is interesting to me. Um, there was another story here that I wanted to highlight, too. Give me just a second. OK, here we go. Uh, this is a 61 year old Asian man who was attacked by one of these apes while on the subway back in February. Um, man, look at his face. <sighs> y'all, I'm telling y'all, these motherfuckers are vicious and monstrous, and there's no compassion. There's no empathy here. They are sociopaths. Um, so it talks about how a man began kicking his backpack on the train. He asked him to stop. Um, and then after he kept doing it, he just asked him what's wrong with them and moved away from him. Um, but when he was about to leave the train, the man slashed him across the face. <laughs> and this is the, this is the fool. Y'all see, y'all see the commonality. These, these apes are disgusting. You know what I mean? And then they get mad when you call a spade a spade. It's like, let's not act like people are fucking, um, you know, being bigoted and being prejudiced when really just calling out your behavior. Y'all motherfuckers are vicious and like to attack non-suspecting people. So this 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 is the ape that attacked this poor man. And now he's going to have a scar for the rest of his life from ear to ear. 
and all he he didn't even know the fool. So he not even he don't even really be in black as saying he just he just ride the train. This don't make no fucking sense. Um, so y'all, what I will say is these apes are very elementary and underdeveloped in their thought process. So they want everybody to protest um, and to fight on the front lines for them when they're brutalized and when they're victimized. However, they'll commonly victimize and brutalize others. Um, A lot of these stories speculated that this is due to biases about the coronavirus, which does not make any sense. Uh, because we all know that the numbers show, the stats show that Black men are disproportionately um, impacted by COVID and they're dying due to Corona. So using that logic, you know, motherfuckers should be killing y'all and slashing y'all motherfuckers in the face. So all I'll say, just to sum this up, is I'll encourage you to stay away from these places. Please, Black women, if you're listening, avoid Blackistan and Nicaragua at all costs. These animals are dangerous. Um, And if you see one of these monsters or if you happen to live in one of these areas, please just be vigilant and uh, be careful. Be careful. Keep your distance from them. Avoid eye contact and really just try to remove yourself from that situation immediately. All right. (laughs) That's all I got. Um, Like always, I'll see you tomorrow at 630. Until next time. See you guys. Bye.